So hello, Scratchers, to another episode on Kids Coding Playground. This is going to be the fourth episode for the two-player fighting game. In the last video, I forgot to add the one flag clicked high, so if you haven't add that, added that, then please add it. So in the selection screen, the sprite, the player one will not show. And one last thing, to duplicate this, put that in here. So in the beginning, I'll switch to the idle costume. We'll, we're going to make three variables. So our three variables are going to be player one HP. Player one, eight, oh, I already have player one HP. Player two HP, I meant. Two HP. And one more. Player two character. Player two character. So we have all the uh, co uh, variables. So in case you missed anything, I'm gonna drag around to let you guys see the code. If you missed anything, okay. So that's. All the code for the player one. Now let's show the code. It's the code for the gem. You guys probably have that. It's the code for the begin button. Code for the character one select button. This is the code for the dragon character two select button. So that's all the code we've got from last time. So we're gonna be making the player two. So I'm just gonna drag it from the backpack. Player two, I'm just gonna let it load. I'm gonna move it up here. So I'm gonna drag all the code into this player two. So just drag all your code into player two. Okay, so that's all the code for the player two. I just dragged in all the code. It's a bit messy. I'm gonna like spread it out. Um so let me just spread it out a little bit more so you guys can see it. Okay, here we go. Spread it out a little bit. Okay, so next, for the run control, we want to, um, instead of greater than nine, we want to do greater than seven, because this only has seven costumes for running. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, no. Actually, there's eight costumes. So there's gonna be eight costumes, actually. Eight run costumes, see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're going to continue with the code. So we're going to have to change it. And instead of instead of player one character, for all of these, we're going to do player two character. Run, player run, custom index. So we want to change it to player two because this is player two. And it's uh, player two. So um, we have eight costumes for the ninja girl, I mean, adventure girl and the genie. So you put seven right here. And it starts at zero because we set it to zero right here. So that's why we put a seven. And we've got to change this to GN, which is a genie. So in the costumes, you can see <clears throat> the genie is GN. And the genie doesn't have slide costumes, so that's why we put the genie right there. 
So next we're gonna change this, change this code. Instead of player one character, it should be player two character. And we should change this to So yeah, you change this to player two character. You have to change this to player two character. Uh, what else? You have to change this to player two character. And that's, I think that's pretty much all you have to change. These are already all changed. So that's it for the um, player two. So for player two, we have to um so then now we have to go to the start game right here switch costume to that and if it's touching so now we're gonna work on the button so in the last video if you haven't watched it we made the two buttons so i taught you guys how to make it in there i'm just gonna drag it from the backpack because we have um in the backpack anyways so let me just duplicate this code into here into here so this is the character one so we need to change the player one character right here to ag adventure girl instead and change this to AG also and instead of broadcasting player one select we have to broadcast player two to select and this has to receive player two select so now we can duplicate all this code into the genie icon except we'll need to make a new um, a new we also have to change this to 65 instead of negative 65 we need to make new um, X and Y position as well. So move this here. Move this here. And finally move this there as well. So in this one, we're going to set the X and Y position to 170, Y60. And instead of AG, we're going to do GN as in Genie. And this, we also have to change this to GN, as in Genie. So now we have all the icons ready in the begin button. So, wait, wait, what? Oh, I did in here, sorry. Change this back to AG, and this back to AG. Oops, did it in the wrong thing. 65, and this has to be the one that's changing to GN, Genie. This has to go to 170, and this has to become genie. So we have all the code for the genie. Let's move on to the HP bar. We're gonna be working on the HP bars today, but before we can do the HP bar, we have to change the X and Y position to so this, Make it face negative 90, so the will face to the left side. And we can change these to the arrow keys. And D should be the right arrow key. S should be the down arrow key. And the jump. Okay, I found it, so now we gotta change this to up arrow key. Up. Oops. So I'll show you guys how it works now. And we have to change these to player two character. This should be go to player two character. This should be player two character. And so is this one. So Make sure to drag all your code into the other sprite or else I'll be wrong. So now when you play it. And now 
Both of them can jump, jump and slide correctly. Now you can double jump with them. So, so that's all the stuff for now. And if you select these two, you can also jump with them. But you cannot slide with them. So I'm pressing down the down arrow key and the S button, but I still cannot slide with them. So this is the um, button, so now we can work on the HP. So let's go. I'm gonna drag the player one HP bar and then the health. So to, I already have it in my backpack, but to draw it, I'll, I'll show you guys how to draw it. Paint a new sprite. You want to get the um, line tool. Uh, make it black. About four outline, yeah. And then you have to make it onto this cross. Like this one. It's on the cross. Like that. But on this one, I'll drag this one in too. I'll drag this one in. This one has to be opposite of the cross. Like that. The tip is like that. So when you uh, lose HP, it won't lose from this side. Instead, it will uh, get smaller from this side. And to make it, um, and this is also on the cross, and this is on the opposite side. So to draw the um, uh, health box, you hold down the shift key to make a perfect line. You can hold down the shift key right here. And connect it up here. You can make make it like a black color. Fill it and then write HP. Like a red or orange color. I'm just gonna do red. HP. Of course you can use any font you want. HP. So um you have to copy paste this. You can copy paste it to the um, health health to compare. Of course, this is way too small right now. It's obviously way too small, so that means I have to make it bigger. So I can like either expand it, but that won't look good. So that's how you do it. You just have to keep on measuring until the tip matches the tip of the health bar. So just. You just have to keep on trying until it's perfect fit. Let's work on the code for it now. So, when flag clicked, you want to hide in the beginning. Before the game starts, you want to hide. So, next we want to get a... If, when it receives the start game button, the um, start game uh, message, then we can go to this X and Y position. We want it to be on the same X position, uh, or same Y position because we want it to be at the same height, but the X position can be different. So this is that Y and X position. We want it to go to the front in the beginning. So it will go in front of the um, health bar and we can show. And for the P2 um, health bar, it's basically the same thing but we can work on the health first. So when I receive start game, let me zoom in, start game, start game, then we have we can go to this X and Y position, the same as the health box, and we want to show in the beginning. Once it receives the message, get a forever loop, set the color effect to zero in the beginning and set size to player one HP set size to player one HP what this means is um, uh, player one HP we will set it with the one flag clicks so one flag clicks we want to set the player one HP to 100 so that means it'll set the size of it to 100 the size of the HP bar to 100 in the beginning, you can hide right here. 
So next we want to get an if then statement. So if the player HP is less than 51, so if it's less than 50, 50, uh, 1 HP, that means 50 or under. So if player HP, player 1 HP is less than 51, then we can set the color effect to 170, so it'll become red. Set the color effect to 170, so it'll become red. And get another if then statement. So if the um, HP is less than or equal to less than or equal to zero, the player one HP is less than or equal to zero. Player eight, one HP is less than or equal to zero, and we can hide. For this player 2 HP, we can just drag in the code from here to here. We gotta change the X and Y position. We gotta change the X position though. I wanna change the X position to um, 66, as I have it written down right here. 66. And the player 2 health is to um, when I receive start game. Then we can go to, and I almost forgot, we can just copy it from here. Actually, and I missed this one. So now we have the code copy pasted. Um, you have to reset the um, X and Y position. This one should be 240 instead of negative 240. And this is all the same thing. And instead of player 1 HP, we have to do player 2 HP for everything. Player 2 HP. Player 2 HP. Player 2 HP. And player 2 HP. So I'll show you guys. I'll set their HP to like 50. And you'll see it become red. So if I, if I were to set it, let me hide these variables first. Okay, so if I were to set the HP to 50%, then it will become red. If I were to take out the high time. As you can see, it's red because it's under 50% HP. So Thank you guys for watching. Please like, share to your friends, and subscribe. So, just to recap, we finished the player two today. We um, made two other buttons and the HP bars and the HP boxes. So, see you guys in the next video in two-player fighting game part five.